Hey gang, how's everybody doing? I hope all is well. I hope everybody's getting through their uh, their winter uh, okay. Uh, I know people in the north had gotten uh, their share of snow, but uh, luckily here in New Jersey, we uh, sort of getting away unscathed. But anyway, uh, hope everybody's well. Uh, we're doing this uh, video uh, during St. Patrick's Day weekend. Uh, celebrations have already uh, been done. We've uh, corned beefed out and all the other things. So uh, we took that opportunity. Uh, once all the cooking's done, we took the opportunity to send my knives out to uh, get sharpened. And uh, there's a there was an online uh, place that takes care of that. So uh, you know we'll talk about that down the road. So uh, I figured I was down some knives and I reached out to uh, my friends at Eno King. Uh, if you remember, uh, we did one about the Serbian knife, and I said, wow, that's, that's a great knife. And uh, so did a friend of mine. <laughs> he thought it was a great knife. Uh, and, uh, well, he's going to be using it at his outdoor uh, barbecue. So I reached out to Eno King, and I said, what are you guys uh, promoting? So they are promoting their new, here it is, their new cleaver. Look at this guy. So this thing's coming in at 12 inches long. The blade's seven inches, and it weighs in at 1.4 pounds, okay? This is full stainless steel tang going through, uh, a composite handle, three rivets, and the weight on this is phenomenal. Uh, one of the things that really, a few of the things that caught my eye about this is just the overall balance of this knife as well as uh, you've got yourself a hole there for your hook. Uh, the blade is wonderful. It's got a good bend to it, so we'll be able to get a good rocking action. But what I have also found very interesting, like a lot of uh, cleavers, is take a look at the front edge here. Right? See how it comes out? I'm gonna show you what that's pretty good for some uh, medium, um, I wouldn't say fine, but some medium uh, knife work. So uh, we're just, I'm doing some prep work anyway for dinner. So I might as well took this opportunity to show you. So uh, again, we're, we're talking this, so we're going through a, we're going through a, a lemon without any issues here. I mean, just let the knife do the work. And you know, we're, we're getting some nice thin slices. So, so lemons work out very nicely. Uh, another one is, yeah, and I was a little, I guess I was a little uh, hesitant when doing bread, you like to use serrated, but I don't have any serrated knives because they're all getting sharpened. So this guy here goes to the bread without any issue. So it does a good job with bread. And, uh, Wanted to do a quick tutorial on onions, how to how to chop up an onion, and uh, this is a regular Vidalia onion here, right? So what I like to do is before I do anything, I take the rounded edge and I take a slice off of the rounded edge. That way, I've got a relatively you know flat surface to work on, and then we'll just take that off, take the back off. Get that out of the way, and then we'll uh, we'll take that skin off. Let's get the skin off. Come on, there we go. So, I'll take the skin off. So, what I do when I slice it, when I do a Vidalia onion here, right? Let's move this out of the way so you can see this. I do a couple slices like so. Coming in like this. All right, move it down a quarter inch. And down here. Always get a safe edge. Okay. And then when I then we'll turn it 90 degrees and we'll do the same thing. So in a sense, what it's doing is you're allowing an opportunity to give uniform pieces when you're doing your chopping. 
Okay, you go about three quarters through the through the onion. And then when we there's our flat there's our flat edge, we'll come through. Look at that. Already chopped for you. So that's a little little tip that might be some helpful to you. Uh, so so look at that. So you've got a real nice fine piece here. And if we were just to take a piece, take a big chunk here, let's say a big chunk, and we just wanted to give it a rough chop. I mean, the, the edge has a nice rounded face. So we get a good rocking action here. So I thought the Serbian knife was a great knife. And then we've got this one here. So, as far as cleaning, all right, soap and water. We don't want to put our good knives in the dishwasher to high heat and everything. Does not have a great effect on the riveting. So, warm water, warm soapy water, clean it off. Make sure it's dry before you put it away. And uh, if, you know, down the road, if you're gonna be storing it in, say, say you're gonna use this as a camping knife, and, it, and this is like, this might be the only knife you're gonna need to bring on a campsite. Uh, get yourself some vegetable oil or some mineral oil, preferably mineral oil, all right? And if you're gonna be storing it for some long time, just put a coating of oil on it. That'll, that'll help reduce any rust if, if it is, this is stainless steel. I don't see an issue with it, but it just, you know, keeps any of the others, makes for a protective barrier that you can use. So anyway, so as far as an all around knife to keep at your barbecue, heck, here I'm keeping this in my kitchen uh, on a campsite or anything, I would definitely highly recommend the Eno King. Uh, this is the cleaver. Uh, it's a 12 inch cleaver. I'll have a link down below uh, Where you can get this. I think the last time I checked it was uh, it was under $25. So uh, Great bang for your buck uh, a wonderful value and uh, That's it uh, Again, I hope everybody's doing well feel free to comment subscribe and do all those other good things and uh, Here's another thing. I'm gonna put this out to you. We need some suggestions. I want suggestions for some uh, recipes We'll do demos for you if it's something that maybe you're having a uh, some issues with some uh, You just need you know an extra set of eyes on it. I'd be more than happy to uh, you know walk everybody through that So anyway, I want to thank the folks at uh, Eno King for presenting me with this knife It's a great piece of goods recommended highly. I'll have the link down below I want to thank you all for watching. We'll see you real soon. Bye. Bye